All right, so welcome to chapter four, section four, scalable vector graphics, better known as SVG. So what is scalable vector graphics? SVG is used to define vector-based graphics on a web page. Now vectors aren't like your standard images. A vector can be stretched or zoomed or scaled and it, it won't lose its pixels. It won't it won't distort like a like a, a regular graphic would, like a, a standard PNG or, or JPEG. And graphics are defined. SVG is defined in an X XML document, extensive markup language, and vector. Like I said, do not lose any quality if they're zoomed or resized. And we can animate SVG graphics. Um, you can do a lot of different things with JavaScript, with jQuery, um, using SVG. And SVG is a W3C recommendation. SVG is mostly used for vector type diagrams like pie charts. Uh, usually these, uh, you know, full color, one, two dimensional graphs and shapes and, and stuff like that. But, but it can be used for other stuff. It's not it's not for uh, graphic intensive gaming or anything like that uh, like, you know like I said it's better for pie charts and, and such uh, most web browsers can display SVG just like they can display any other kind of image all the new browsers sh should be able to render SVG now embedding SVG into HTML uses the SVG tag uh, which follows a simple syntax which you can see right here um, SVG open tag and then we define the XML um, standard and then the content will go in between the SVG tags which we will do uh, on the second part of this program and you can see here this is an example of just a simple SVG circle alright so the, the differences between SVG and canvas they're not the same. SVG is a language for describing 2D graphics in XML, and Canvas draws 2D graphics on the fly using JavaScript. So they're not they're not the same. Each shape in SVG is looked at as an object. If attributes are changed, the browser can automatically re-render the shape. Canvas is pixel by pixel. Once the graphic is drawn, the browser forgets it if its position is changed the entire scene needs to be redrawn okay so the browser will re-render the SVG graphics it'll forget the canvas um, another difference is SVG supports event handlers canvas does not and like I said before SVG is not for graphic intensive games and applications uh, canvas however is well suited for that now, like I said, there is a big advantage over raster-based images, which are just your know, standard uh, JPEG, PNG, standard images. Um, and the biggest being that if you scale a standard image up from its original size, it will distort. Uh, it will get pixelated. Vector graphics uh, can be resized and will keep their look. They'll, they'll keep that quality. So. Um, and SVG graphics are created using mathematical formulas that need far less data to be stored in the source file because you don't have the, to store the data for each individual pixel like you would on any standard image. Um, the source file for SVG for an SVG image is text is a text-based file, so it's good for SEO. It's good for the search engines, which is always good. So, like all the other sections, we're going to dive in and start coding, and I'll be able to, to explain this a little more, and you can see exactly how SVG works in HTML5.